hey guys, uh, I used to play in the uh, Legend of Zelda by Nintendo. Uh, register my... No, 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 I have to... Okay, what did... Wait, I just figured this out. Now I'm confused again. How did I... Oh, yeah, oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm stupid. All right. <laughs> my name is Iso. It's spelled that way now. Because this is uh, an anime game, obviously, and uh, let us uh, do some shenanigans here and uh... hey guys, uh, I am bread <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Uh, we used to play in, uh, I am bored. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I need to... There we go. Whoa, okay. There's some, like, Zelda music playing. It's, uh, okay, okay, okay. We're, we're playing a Zelda game. I don't have the sword. I have a shield, though. I have a, a pause buffer. Okay, okay. Triforce. We're gonna click the Triforce. I have the, the bow thing. The, the holder for the, the, the arrows. Okay, cool. We're going downstairs. And we're gonna... Oh, it's dangerous to go alone. Take money. Oh, no! No sword. Okay, so we're gonna get some money, though. We gotta go west, though. Go west for money. Walk on the fires. Okay, it's cool. I like the cave. It's a real cave and not just some nonsense black screen or something. So, context! This is actually a... Uh, not the game I was originally going to be LPing next, but uh, that game that I was going to LP, yeah, was giving me a little bit of difficult no Octorox and uh, a situation where where um, where I'm gonna get hit by Octorox uh, and I have to wait for them and then they don't move in the right direction and then they move back and forth. They don't know what they're doing. I'm just gonna rush through here. Okay, but yeah, the other game I was going to play was uh, it was a Super Mario World ROM pack and it was. Uh, Quite difficult, and uh, and no, it's not a jolt game. That's it was harder than that. Oh, jeez, I need to. Will you just let me escape? Oh, we have. Okay, we're, 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 oh, okay, we've arrived in the mysterious woods. This is some Link's Awakening music. Oh man, remix versions of Link's Awakening version music. What's this purple zone here? Are are, are we in a dungeon? Oh, jeez. Okay. My d <laughs> remember that Aresis commercial where the guy eats Aresis? <laughs> boomerang? Well, this is not Aresis, but it's Boomerang. I, I don't remember that commercial, but thank you for the weapon. Oh my god, this music is pretty rocket. Okay, that's a that's a key bush. We all remember those key bushes from uh, the original Zelda 1 here, so that's, this is why they exist here. So Okay, so Boomerang can kill the, the keys there. Uh, not not to be confused with the key bush or keys in general, but I guess they're pronounced keys. But who freaking cares? It's Octorox are also enemies. So it's shallow water. We could walk inside, and it looks like I uh, can't really proceed. But I will die soon. Is there a, a quick save feature in this game? You know, like quick save. You know, Japanese style quick save. Basically, save state. That's so I'm looking for. No, no. Okay, just some ambient flames still. Well, uh, let us uh, continue to carouse around here in the jungle. Oh, no, no. That was the mini dungeon, and now we have the dungeon proper. Nope, just a woman. Okay, hello? Do you uh, fancy my uh, bone meringue here? No, no, no? Oh, I can't walk on the fire here. Okay, I can't. Because you. Or you. Okay. Uh, I kind of forgot how to Zelda 1, so. Uh, uh, this is a Zelda classic, by the way. It's not exactly the same thing as Zelda. Did I? Am I? Let me just double check here if I missed something in here because I, I feel like I feel like something is amiss and that I am able to progress here and didn't realize it. Can I like secretly kill you? Is this a bush I can grab? No. Okay. Um. Or can I push one of these blocks? Or maybe I need to die. First death, bloody mist, and explosions. Game over. Oh, I just noticed the name of the place. Should I save? No, I'll continue. Or can you do both? I forgot. It's the Grape Deco Tree. 
<laughs> it's pretty great, I will say. Hey, now there's only that enemy. So, wait, will that mean that I will unlock things by killing... Yeah! Cheats! Alright, okay, so I had to, like, meta-game this puzzle. Because enemies respawn in, like, the wrong order. <laughs> so, I see and understand now. I got myself a key, perhaps unintentionally. So now I should be able to destroy the key bush and make my way to uh, the other side of the grape deku tree. It's nice that I've already died and it's only like the first dungeon. This is Zelda I Am Bored. Link Temple of Iso here, so I, I guess it's, it's okay to die this early. Also the music is so freaking inconsistently loud. <laughs> But uh, that, that that's fine. I can uh, deal with it. My headphones are like broken and breaking, so occasionally the left ear dies for no reason. But that, that's fine as well. What's this? I think this is some kind of puzzle. I enjoy those block puzzles in my uh, Zelda games. I think I understand what I'm seeing here. We've got to do this very carefully. Very careful. I think I no. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's confusing because the, the 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 tile tiles are not solid, but they look kind of roundish and solid. So uh, anyway, I, this feels like it's gonna be a fun adventure, and I solved the puzzle. Oh no! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay. That's like the mad batter. He's the evilest bat around. He's floating around at the speed of sound, but I think I'm gonna take care of him real good, assuming his random pattern can be devised. I, I believe it was. I believe the flowing waterfalls are kind of beautiful. Even if they are standards all the one- <gasps> Oh ho! <laughs> I found the sword. This reminds me so much of- and yes, I can break bushes now, because this is Game Boy Zelda. We can break bushes, so I guess, you know, A Link to the Awakening also was able to do that, but, but this is 8 bits or whatever. But yeah, this this dungeon reminds me so much of like the one thing I ever actually completed in my foray into Zelda Classic, so that's, you know, it's pretty neat to see it done in a much cleaner and uh, probably more interesting fashion. Although my block puzzles were a little bit more insane in the beginning, actually. <laughs> so. Uh, I have no concept of a difficulty curve. But yeah, we found a friggin' sword! Which means, do we... What do we want to do? We can, like, we've opened up, like, half the game now. That I know of. Do you care that I have, uh... Weaponry? No? Okay, well I'm glad I went back and checked because, uh, it turns out I was an idiot and or very confused about the engine. But yeah, Zelda Classic, it's, uh, it's a very fancy thing where your sword is not just a little dagger you stab in front of you, but you can actually have a slash sometimes because it's not quite Zelda 1. And I like it that way. Um, okay, that's not it. Uh, can I ha do, how do I have map? I, I, I don't know how to open map if there is a map. I, I guess this, this small grid up there is all we're getting. Mrs. Mrs. Fields. That's a joke, I think. I have arrows now. Do I have... Do I have... Do I legit have arrows? I keep pressing, like, selects because it might do something, but it just brings up the pause menu stuff. But I guess I'm going over here to the money door. Is this like a shop or something? Arrowed. Oh ho. Uh, how do I use arrows? I... Like, from this... It looks like I have an arrow there, but I think you need, like, the bow, but I have a quiver also. You need, like, three freaking components to make a freaking bow work, I guess. Is this a thing? Why is this tree orange? Is that telling me that someday I'm gonna be able to burn it or something with the, the Bernie candle? Because that's the main use for a candle, is setting bushes on fire. Not, not like, lighting and reading in ambient darkness. No, no, it's for setting things ablaze. That is one huge 8-bit rock that has been scaled in a rather unholy fashion. But we can fit in this little gap here. Maybe we can sidle our way through. Nope. Guess this ain't no Wind Waker. I don't think you can even do that in that context. Uh, so either we need something or we need something else. But first, I guess I'll just peruse all the shops in the world. Whoa, a smiley face. 60 bucks for an eighth. This is the good stuff, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
So there's a big shield, and there's a... I don't know what this is, but I want it because it smiles at me. Oh, I have four smiles. Oh, are these bombs? S smiles or bombs? Is that, <laughs> is that what that is? Okay, well, uh, let's keep going on adventure. Let's see if Old Man has any words of wisdom for us now that I'm all up in bed. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I, I, I suppose having bombs might open up some possibilities. I just... I don't know, because bombing in Zelda 1 is always kind of a thing, because it's all like Sword Man. You catch them all, go east to the lone grave. Underneath, you'll find a path that leads to this grave danger. That'll be your final challenge. Oh, jeez. The last dungeon is over there. No, okay. East is the final dungeon after we catch them all Pokemon style. Fine, fine. But yeah, bombing... There's like never any indication, except when there's like an empty room. You cannot just walk off the water. I need to somehow be able to get over there. I don't think even the like the raft, I guess the ladder wouldn't work. I I, I think this is shallow, so I can go. Oh, oh, jeez, it's it's raining and filled with Kirby over here. Okay, I can barely see myself amidst the torrents. Just run, just run. Don't let the Zoras smack you. Don't let the Moblins. Uh, say bad words at, at you. I, I don't want you don't swear. Did I blow this up? It is a bomb. Okay, first test. It, it does that, that that does not blow up. All right, I guess we're leaving Kirby Rainsville and going. In fact, uh, somewhere way over here. Maybe okay. Maybe that giant Jar Jar Binks. I don't know why Jar Jar Binks, but that giant boulder is a boom boom bomb. B bomb. Maybe this. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just waste a few stuffs. That's right, my shield can deflect objects of possible pain. And this looks like a dead end of no return. Okay, so we're... I probably did want to go west. Wait, wait, that wall. That wall is suspiciosus. Oh yeah! The power of smiles reveals the entrance. This green gem blows you up into a million little pieces. Uh... Okay, that's cool. Is that cool? Is this a suicide button object? Broar's wind. Wait. Hi -ya! Whoa. 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 Wait a minute. Whoa. 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 Wait. Hold. Hold. Hold on a sec. Is it? Whoa. Well, that's some nice pixels. Just disappearing. Okay, so it's like you're warped to start. Does vanilla Zelda Classic have that by default? I, I have to assume I have no idea because I never really looked into it, but I think it has some stuff. I like bombs. Actually, I probably like my boomerang better at this point in the game. Well, alright, let's keep on treading through Yoshi's Island here and uh, Mrs. Fields. Forgot to look up the name of the rainy place. I guess I'll see it at a later date, and uh, head to the the west, west, the west, through the morning wood. <laughs> yes, I just looked at that there, I, I think. Maybe I saw it before, but I didn't, like, interpret it correctly, but now I, it has registered in my brain, and uh, it's quite uh, hilarious. Maybe this is a thing. Okay. Like, I can recognize a thing when I see a thing there. It's, uh... I, oh, wait, I, I, uh, oh, yeah. This is how the woods work in Zelda 1. The enemies just pop out of the sides. This, this, undoubtedly something. But for now, I dare not tread. Hello there, Mr. Fairy! Would you care to bless me with a magical... Yeah, you, you did. Very briefly, because I didn't need it. But, uh, hey, what you gonna do? So, I, I guess there's nothing to do here. Maybe... We have to tread into the endless zone before we can proceed. But I need to find the passcode. Uh, unless it was just like messing with my mind and it's not actually a thing like that. What's with this bush again? Oh, 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 oh! Brown bush means eat nort. Eat wet nort. That is not a maze pass path. So is that, you know, are you just omitting letters there? East, north, west, north. Not at all. Are you, are you sure? Are you sure? East, north, west, more. Okay. Right? Okay, wait, okay. 
Can I remember that? Is that... Which way is east again? Okay, so the east is this way. So it should be... Right, up, left, up. Right, 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 up, left, up. Okay, I can remember easy patterns like that, right? Unless he actually meant to eat them, in which case I might actually be a small dumb. Uh, but I don't know how to eat a nort. Oh, I got a fairy, though. Oh, yeah, I figured it out. Okay. Well, I, I, I guess uh, we're just going to head inside. Is this, like, the first dungeon? It's level one. Level one. Whoa, okay, so you get, a, like, a healing at the very start. And we've got some very, very melodramatic music. And a very suspicious block. Oh, -ho! I knew it, because the other side was, like, a parallelogram of uncertainties. And we got our first side-scrolling segment of the game. I wonder if this game will have the feather. Or if it will not abuse those kind of things. Where, where am I? Hello? Oh, okay, I'm down here. And we get ourselves another heal, an unnecessary heal, heal perhaps, but uh, we were fighting some toast. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is toast? Are Is toast dogs? <laughs> I don't know. What are they? They're, maybe they're like Stalfo, so I, I found a compass. Okay. Well, um, where to now? I guess we'll go right because, you know, that's the less obvious path here. Very well, Toast. May mayhem bring you upon yourselves. I will destroy you. And maybe eat you later, because I might be hungry. I found the map, and it looks like a jewel gem. Maybe it's uh, for use with Furore's Wind. Why are you uh, a statue? Statue, are you... Do I need to shoot an arrow in your mouth, in your eye, as is Zelda fashion? Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on one second. Spooky music, spooky music. No, okay, maybe, maybe wait, babe, bomb your. No, okay. Just covering all my bases here. And these are some fancy traps. I know exactly how they work because I remember some things about working with the editor, but it, it's still fancy nonetheless. More toast and hands, or wall masters. Time to stop the clock and, you know, easily defeat them because of. The clock time Sakura shenanigan Sakura Saki yeah. Whoa, okay, tons of arrows. Like are you saying I'm supposed to have a bow? Or maybe that I will acquire one and it will be necessary to move along. I know there's nothing on the map to the left here, but just you know, just you know, in case there's like a bonus content. Okay, so we have our first instance of Paraguay's? No, I don't think that's what they're called at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure that just came out of nowhere. Um, don't remember what they're called. I know there's a mini boss of them, and oh, it's it's Aqualord Mentis. Well, 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 my draconic friend. Uh, well, uh, well, I will smite you. Right, right, right. Yeah, hit you in the horn, or die trying, or get knocked onto the other path somehow. I wonder if bombing would be effective, didn't need it. Did not need it in the slightest. Sorry, Aqui. You are, uh, treated very poorly as a mini-boss in this game, it would seem. Unless that was boss content, and we have some, you know, some Mario 2 enemy Sparkmen, and I have no key, so that was, uh, this is just gotta go through this pointless little transition room again. That, that's fine, these serve as little gateway markers. And the, the treasure trove reactivates every single time. X is on the floor. What could it mean? There's blocks galore. I like how the toasts are all outlined, but Link is not. It says something about how they have anthropomorphized faces, I think. Don't eat your toast if it has a face. Smite it instead. All right. Let's solve this puzzle, I think. Uh... Where to begin? I think I should start by pushing this block down. Yes, yes. And then perhaps there. I see. The game is trying to trick me by providing me with many different options, and this cannot be pushed up. So. There goes that option. Okay. Maybe it could be pushed down? To the, to the right more? Yeah, I could push it to the right more, and 
but still doesn't go down, so I, that didn't work out. Okay, a finicky puzzle, if you will. Let's puzzle it out, though. I don't need to say I'm gonna puzzle out a puzzle, but I, I just did. No, wait, really, wait, what? I guess it needs to go there. Very well, then. Uh, but if that's the case, then I need to do something rather fancy here, which I think is to put that there for later use, and then just kind of mash my way forward in the manner such as that. Uh, now the question is, does this move up or down? Okay, I think this is fine. If only I didn't get tricked by that silly little, you know, detail that it doesn't move in one direction only for some reason. Why is this room so suspicious? Why did I lay down a bomb when I clearly thought I had my boomerang out? Clearly, a smiley face could do the job, but uh, it was wasted. Uh, I want a bomb, but... Yeah, and I kind of want a bomb downwards as well because... Oh wait, no, okay, I, I got confused actually. On the map I thought I was the red dot. I don't know why. That's my destination, so hey, I don't want to bomb wantonly. Right here, though, might be fine. And now I'm out of my juicy, juicy explosives that I'm sure I will need very, very soon again and uh, regret all my decisions. Alright, so to the spark room, we now proceed. And then we gotta do some, you know, precision, not platforming, but uh, movement without dying. A, a very difficult task. See, I just got dead slightly. Slightly died. So I'm over there now. Okay, so we're getting closer to the boss's lair. Oh, those are the freaking fat, fast people. Angry, angry. I, I died. Okay, they they mean serious business when they fly randomly into you. I see. How do you save normally? I don't remember. Is there a way to do that? Uh, probably should have looked it up. Oh well. Uh, where did I... Okay, all the toast is back. And there's a lot of enemies in this room. And don't get hit by the stupid spark enemies, because they do like a whole heart of damage or something. Boom, 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 boom. Good job. Okay. Is there any... There, I think there were hearts in there before, but there's not now. So that's... That's fantastic. Alright, you gents. Please... Please, uh, do not exist. Please- OH MY GOD! You melt my face! I got magic, but I don't have anything that uses magic. I don't think even- ah, No! <laughs> Cornered! Okay, I need to use some not getting hit by that stupid spark guy strategy. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, nice! The boomerang can actually grab objects towards you. This is- Advanced physics in Zelda. That might be abused later. I better be on the lookout for situations like that. Although the boomerang is kind of, it goes through walls, so I don't know, it might make things a little bit awkward. This gentleman here is. I'm not ever gonna get past it without getting hit, am I? Well, that's okay. At least I got healed there. Now, you! Okay, one of them stayed dead, but their HP did not go back. This is back at. Nor their normal amount, but I seem to be doing okay this time. Thank the Glorb! I got a bow! Okay, so now I have the bow. I'm assuming what that means is that I can use this bow to shoot things. Perhaps that thing? Maybe you? Probably that one thing way back at the beginning. But that means it's a good time to use the Wind of Pafara! Pafara, that's. Yeah, okay, that, that's close enough. Man, that, that's, it's like ultra generous that you heal that much right at the beginning. Uh, yeah, here. Toast, would you make a soup for me? You don't have to. I, I mean, I don't usually put toast in soup. Well, actually, that's... Oops, I... I, 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 I... I did a wrong thing there. I meant to have this out. I can see that being a problem in the future. In fact, that seems like a problem that many people might have, but not in this game, because most people playing this are probably more competent. I guess I could, like, shoot these guys. They dropped a lot of arrows, actually. Alright, anyway, you! 
Surprise, surprise! It leads to a key. No, wait, wait a minute. Where do I need a key again? Like, I needed it in that one area up there. But is, I don't think there was a way for me to get across. I do not have Yonder Raft. But is this the kind of game where you can use keys outside of the dungeon in other dungeons? Or is that registered content for another uh, video game? I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out. Maybe never. Oh wait, you! You seem... Ow. You seem like... Arrows are pretty strong. Oh, the water recedes, and a passage awakens, allowing us to plow forth through another section. Oh, and we need to conveniently over here, which is leading very closely to a boss room. Oh no, and we have some like dimensionality going on here. Perspective. Can we not? Okay, we can't jump down. It's not super perspective. Not ultra realistic. Ooh, cash rewards. I'm gonna whip out my bond meringue and just. Oh, okay. You can't. Okay. You can click. You can click. Yes, collectibles, but you can't pick up uh, uh, reward objects from the room. I guess. Very well. Oh, okay. I love the dimensional look. Probably because it's awesome. <laughs> yes. Hello. Okay, let, let's kill everything in here, just in case. Oh, I forgot the map here shows, like, where we've been yet. So there's still a lot of the dungeon I have not explored. This is unrealistic. My arrow should not have been able to penetrate the lower levels. Oh, okay, so that did, in fact, do something. And I can collect all but not the clock and not the key. I need the raft. That, actually, this looks like a button. But we'll find out. But yeah, I love I love the the. I think I've already said it, so I'm just I think you understand what I mean. So I I think we're good here. I love Zelda's by the way, they are quite the fantastic series, and this game seems to be no different in that it is quite great. <laughs> I got caught by surprise there. Does Arrow work on demon scum? Yes, it does. Oh, quite effectively. Holy schnitzel, you do not like that. Very well. Um, map, are there secrets? Well, I think I'll go down first because it seems more dead. Oh. Dark butts, eh? Can I... <laughs> can I <laughs> touch you and die instantly? Yes. Yes, I may. <laughs> oh, adventure! <laughs> And the Aquamentide stay dead. Okay, so arrows, no effect on these juvenile delinquents. Uh, but uh, at least with the slashing, uh, yeah, they will fall at some point. Oh my, okay, you have quite a large amount of HP and I've wasted like some health there. That's Wonderful, yeah, okay, this is a good, like, with this freaking slash, you can hit them from a freaking mile away. The sword is, like, ultra-wide, ultra-thick for your better penetration of armor. Yeah, this is, this is, oh god, I thought he was gonna, like, ow, I thought he was gonna touch me, like that. Will you cease and, thank you, Th thank you, everybody, thank you for the health. Okay, there's hearts freaking everywhere in here, actually. I was not in any danger at all. Okay. We're completing the jewel's outer shell. And most of its inner shell as well. Oh, okay, so now we have the normals. The non-threatening version. That's still very threatening because they still have a lot of HP. Just like, less, slightly. Alright, this is the tedium that is killing enemies. But yeah, since you can like hit through the bushes, could you do that in Zelda 1? I, I I don't know if you could hit through objects like that. I think this is a little bit easy. Maybe? Okay, okay, well, whatever. So up yonder here lies, we need the boss key. Okay, let's not, let's not bother with that toast for now, and let's go get the boss key. 
Actually, this is set up in a way in which I'm gonna have to like go back down to get it, isn't it? Link blends in pretty well with this foreground, so I cannot see. Oh no, okay. Nice design. Very, very, very shortcut. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much, guy who made this. I, uh, it was there at the beginning of the video, and I have since forgotten your name. I will remember your name well, the next time I look at it. Fear not, my good friend. Okay, so I guess... Oh, I think we are encroaching upon a boss-shaped buddy very soon. Oh, triple hearts. Should not have wasted. Gulp. Boss key means boss door. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, let's bring it on. Bring it, whoever you might be. Oh, oh God! It's like, it's it's later Game Boy era Aquamentus. <laughs> okay, yeah. It, whoa, and you even have later Game Boy death sounds for your pain. That's awesome. And, and this is music from a video game as well. I, I forgot what it is. Um, that that that's fantastic. I know what it is though, like I know I've heard it before, and we're just like playing a Don Maku here, and it, it, it's fine, he's blowing up very awesomely and violently and loudly, and there's a mushroom. Boy, 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 that, that's, that's the sound of growing as a mushroom, it's very good. And the boss music is still playing, that's fine. Why did I forget like all this music? It's like so classic and I'm so dumb, but that, that's fine, that was, that was fun. Oh my god! We gotta catch them all, don't we? Pokemon! Okay. <laughs> After you catch them all, we gotta go to the, the east, across the bridge, and uh, to the Holy Land. Well, well, well. How do you save? How to... No. Uh... How to save... I could die. That would do it. But uh, there's a way to save... I forget what the heck it is. Oh yeah, there's a quick switch button. I forgot that existed. Uh, how do you? How, I I don't know how to do it. I, I I just don't know. I'm just gonna kill myself. Okay, we're gonna go back and no, actually we're gonna go outside. We're going outside, and I'm gonna go kill myself, and then we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna call it a, a save and quit sort of situation, and just 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 call it a day. We finished the first dungeon. It took me a half hour to do all that. With editing, it should be less than half hour, more close at least. And the game hasn't saved. Heck yeah, five deaths. Well, all right. I will see you guys. Uh next time for more adventures and I am bored and I, I really was before playing and now I am less so awesome thank you and uh, good night